Let's take you here now. Hundreds of supporters who have come out to cheer on the participants of the 2022 Comrades Marathon. Now, the Comrades, also known as the Ultimate Human Race, is the world's oldest and largest ultra marathon. Thousands of runners have hit the tarmac this morning in the first Comrades Marathon, two years since the COVID-19 pandemic. More than 14,000 runners are taking part this year. SABC News reporter Fusi Kumalo is on standby to speak to us. Thank you for your time, Fusi. So talk to us about what's happening there now. Yes, the Comrades Marathon is upon us. Uh, we've got lots of runners who have woke up uh, so early in the morning to be at the starting line right at the KwaZulu Natal capital, uh, Peter Marisbeck. Half past five, they had already lined uh, the main road there at Peter Marisbeck. They are going uh, toward, uh, we are currently at the 36th uh, kilometer at Injanga. That's towards uh, uh, the area such as Kettle Ridge as well as the Drummond, which is the halfway mark. Uh, this is a 36 uh, kilometer with a lot of supporters here cheering on uh, some of the athletes that are already here on the road. As you can see, uh, people are waving at us as well. Uh, they are cheering on uh, some of the road, uh, I mean, uh, the road running athletes who are already on the road. I've got some few supporters here who have uh, woke up so early in the morning just to be here and ensure that you do support. Uh, do you have any specific or particular person uh, that you are waiting to ensure that you give them support? Yeah, hi, good day. We are just supporting Sean Micklejohn today. He's running his 31st comrades today, so it's hashtag uh, Sean Micklejohn. It's actually 31. Um, he's a legend of running and we're uh, giving him a bit of second in support. He's got a team on the road and uh, we just wish him good luck today, man. Um, it's a good day out and I encourage all those oaks sitting on the couch watching us to get out here. I've done 10. I've got my green number and um, yeah, it's just get out here and come and enjoy. It's such a good day supporting the runners, man. Yeah. Okay. Has this pass person passed yet? Sorry? Has he gone past? Yes, he went past long oh, ago. No, yeah, he he's, he's up with the six and a half, seven hour runners, man. He's a legend of running with the four dice and uh, the Mickle Johns, that, that era. That's where we're from. Wow. So yeah, it's been great. I'm Glenn, uh, Glenn Bell, and we're from Hilton. We support Hilton areas and uh, all, the <laughs> all the other runners. So yeah, it's a good day out. Okay, thanks a lot. Let's now move, shift our focus to you, Bobby. Now, uh, is there any specific person or particular person that you are yeah, uh, supporting yeah, today? Yeah, good morning. Uh, yeah, we support uh, Sagan Modley from Newlands Athletics and Sipom Zobe from Hollywood Bets. Roshan from Tongat Panthers. Guys, they're doing great. They've already gone past in within the first three hours. So, expecting an early after lunch finish to them. Yeah, it's been great. It's nice to be on the road. 25 years. Except in the last two. Have you <laughs> run yours? No, no, I haven't. My wife did. Yeah, oh, she okay. did. She did. Okay, okay. Yeah. So and, uh, thanks a lot for your time, sir. All right, not a problem. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, as you can see and hear, and also some of the supporters of the uh, Comrades Marathon are saying that they are cheering on uh, the road, road running enthusiasts who are passing through here at the 36th uh, kilometer at Injanga. They've been, they are part of the more than 14,500 uh, athletes uh, who have uh, woken up to ensure that they go, do go to Durban at Moses Mabida Stadium where uh, the race is expected to be concluded in about 12 hours uh, from half past five to uh, uh, half past five uh, uh, later on in the afternoon, which is a 12 a uh, uh, 12 hour uh, period uh, from early in the morning from half past five well uh, the atmosphere here is very uh, palpable uh, with a lot of supporters including the younger ones uh, whom we are thinking that they will also uh, get or, or we will be encouraged to also be uh, uh, taking part in the Comrades Marathon, which is already underway, uh, all the way to Devon and uh, Moses Mapedia Stadium. As you can see, uh, the runners coming and waving, they still have their full steam. Uh, they will be going all out. They are about uh, 54 kilometers now left uh, to Devon, which is the a finish line, as you can see, uh, ladies from Hollywood, they are also waving at us. Uh, these are the road runners. They've been training very hard uh, to ensure that they are also part of this. We know that uh, the COVID-19 also disturbed a number of uh, uh, road runners, uh, but here they are today. Uh, for, for the past two years, they were not able 
to participate in the race, but uh, this year, 2022, they are able to do that. They've been training very hard. I must say that a num- oh, this is a batch. This is a 12-hour batch, uh, the pass, known as Ibasi, uh, with a lot of people. Yes, my man, how is it? I'm, I'm doing fine. Where are you from and how? I'm from Venda, Limbo of So uh, you are going, everything is all right? It's, it's okay. Are you going to finish? Definitely. Okay, please proceed, Shut my man. Brother. <laughs> how are you? How are I'm you? good, thank you. How are you? How's the road? Hey, it's nice, man. Hey. It's, uh, it's, it's very nice. Hey, what's your name? My name is Ketue Sangweni Mpangen, but I'm staying in Jobek. Uh, it's my first comrade this one. And I want to greet mom at home in Pangen. Thank you. Thank you. Another novice. Uh, she's a novice. How I am not a novice. Sure. Sh- sh- look at my... Oh, yes. Then 12. Yeah. Yes, yes. Ah, but it's difficult to start. There is so many hills and uh, I'm crimping, but I will reach with this punch. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Just uh, in the Midlands of the province of Kwazulu Natal in Polis. All right, Vusi, we can see it's all excitement there where you are. So who's in the lead so far? Uh, according to the information that we had, it's about uh, 30 minutes ago, but uh, surely uh, the, uh, the information has just changed because the last time I had it was Konkobe uh, who was leading, but I heard later on that... Uh, the leading batch uh, that was uh, led by uh, Edward Tibi, the 2019 winner, uh, who is also looking out to defend his tight title uh, because we also had uh, Bong Musam Tembu who was lagging behind from that batch that was uh, leading the pack. Uh, so Konkobe led all the way uh, from uh, Peter Marisbeck at the start up to uh, Field Hill. That's why he had uh, some problems. He started to, to cramp, but uh, eventually they passed him uh, and then uh, he, I, I'm not too sure whether he'll be able to finish, but the, the chasing pack were able to, to, to pass him, so uh, he's no longer in the lead uh, because there was a batch that was coming very strongly. Uh, they then uh, passed him. Uh, it was led by uh, Motibe, but I can say that uh, David Hatebe, the downrun record holder, is still there, uh, still uh, going very strong alongside other runners as well. But uh, surely, perhaps, I don't think he can be number one because Edward, Edward Mtibi is the one who was leading the pack at around about 30 minutes ago. So, But I do think that a lot uh, has changed in, in terms of the leading pack and also the chasing uh, pack from the males category. Vusi Kumalo, thank you so much for that. We'll leave you to get back to that. I'm sure we'll be touching base a bit later with you on the program. Thanks very much indeed.